Oh boy. What is good, world of YouTube? <clears throat> it's your buddy, B2J135. I told you I will be back with another Pokemon Black 2, White 2, Smoke on Wi Fi Battle, and I am here. We're finishing up tier week. I know I promised you guys we were supposed to do it earlier, but you know, got a job and everything, so time has been, um, you know, a little preoccupied with other things. But here we go. We're going to finish it up with NU and a uh, monotype. So it's going to be earlier this week, but we're going to get it done just like it would be normally. And then we can get back to the regular stuff OUs, UUs, whatever, whatever I feel like doing anyway. So, yeah. Uh, and with this NU team, uh, we're facing Normal Champ, so he's a pretty good uh, user. I think he has a YouTube channel, I'm going to link it in the description and everything. Uh, he's got a really spiffy n n NU team, too. I mean, look at this. He's got my favorite Rotom form, Rotom Fan, and I know everything he can do. He's got Glaceon. Uh, he's got Monferno, which is nice. I really like Monferno. He's got Luxray. Luxray is boss, too. He also has Leafeon and, uh, uh, what do you call this thing? Impol... Imp... Impor... Imp... Imp Piplup The one I fucking forgot I can't remember right now <laughs> If we were to do a quiz I would forget what it's called Damn I can't believe I forgot what it's called Primplup Primplup Oh there we go Okay and then on my team we've got uh, Gigalith, Reggie Ice, Ditto Electros Scolipede and Delibird That everyday I'm hustling Delibird <laughs> So once again, you want to check it out on your own 3DS, DSi, DSi XL, whatever the hell you may have that you can play your Pokemon Black, White, and Black 2, White 2. There's the video link. It goes to the download from the uh, lady all the way on the left on the top of the Pokemon Center. And uh, you can check it out on yours. So just a quick synopsis. Um, this battle goes by a little long, but it is a really good battle. It was really close. So... Um, it's like you want to get rocks up and you can't find the chance to do it. it it's it's really hard, but it it was a good battle. It was just so many mind games with this guy's team. Inu is a the game of mind games. Like I said before, Inu is insane, and you're gonna find out why. So let's begin. Oh my goodness! Woo. All right, so we start off with um the uh I believe this is Chantel Chantel's background. Yeah. So uh, we go into I'm going into Gigalith of course first, and he brings in his uh, Rotom Spin. I call it Rotom Fan. But whatever. My actually I call my Rotom Fan Phantom, like Phantom. It's genius. <laughs> but he goes for the uh, Thunderbolt. Obviously it's going faster than me, so I go ahead for the Stealth Rock. Just take a look at how much that did. I'm thinking this is probably a modest choice scarf Rotom with a ch with trick. So I'm gonna stay in. I mean, I'm gonna switch out into Reggie Ice, predicting another Thunderbolt, obviously, because he's gonna try and take out um, Gigalith right then and there. And obviously, I don't want that to happen because Gigalith is a, a different type of Gigalith. It has uh, the normal gym boosted, so it can use extreme uh, extreme speed. It, it, the um, the explosion for maximum damage to just kill anything one shot. But he decides to bring in Monferno, and I, as I go for the Thunder Wave, I guess he didn't think he doesn't really, probably not might not know Reggie Ice sets as well. But Reggie Ice with Thunder Wave is a really devious set. Because I can basically, because I, I I I've got the high special defense and everything, I can take hits and then just paralyze you. I decided to go back into uh, Giggle because I'm thinking he's probably going to go for the fire move, and I can take that obviously. But he actually makes a, a pretty interesting play. He goes for the U-turn, which got me thinking this might be scarfed or might be abandoned as well. But he, he it's a Monferno. Why would you have Eviolite? could be wrong though he, he might be banded but anyway he goes into his shadow bow which is his um uh, his uh lux ray and i didn't really want to switch anything out just to save giggly so i was like you know what i'm just gonna sack giggly because reggie ice doesn't have a whole lot of defense it's got a lot of special defense but it doesn't have a whole lot of defense so i decided to bring in Mew now to revenge kill and see what type of moves this guy has so obviously get the imposter off and just right here it shows that even though your ditto can be shiny your um lux ray or whatever it copies won't be shiny so i go for the superpower i took a look at his moves and i'm like oh you got some pretty nice moves here yeah i think i'm gonna go for the superpower i was being ballsy and actually told him i'm going for the superpower <laughs> he didn't really have anything on his team to take that anyway except the uh the rotom but hey uh, and then i saw right here that I remember, oh, Leafeon, it's really defensive. Leafeon is actually our, one of the more defensive Eevees, too, in terms of defense and attack. So it's more of an attack and a defense type. It's more of a physical type Eevee. And uh, Glaceon is more of a special defense, a special attack type Eevee. They're both pretty mad in speed, though. 
he actually goes for the heal bell to heal his luxury so that um it wouldn't completely oh and he's got the paralysis and he healed Raph got the paralysis so he used that and he healed luxury and uh, his uh, Monferno. So now he's free to bring in Monferno and try to wreck my shit again. Well, well that's not going to happen because he actually decides to bring in his uh, star, his uh, star me, his uh, fancy star, also known as his Rotom Spin. I go for the Sword Stance and I'm like, okay, I know I'm faster than this guy. I gotta be faster than this guy. I cannot be out speed about this guy. And he goes for the Air Slash. I'm like, okay, so that confirms you are Scarfed if you're out speeding me. But he's not going to kill me though. If he's scar, oh, he did kill me. Did he get a crit? Nope. Oh man, he just took it out. That's a modest, yeah, that's definitely a modest scarfed. Yep, that's definitely modest. I used to use that set. I stopped using it though. But hey, I can do the same thing. So, because it is shiny, I get to come shiny. So isn't that weird how imposter works, even though you're ditto shiny? It's kind of strange. It's like a perfect copy, but hey, whatever. So, uh, I go for the, uh, I believe I go for the Air Slash. No, I actually go for the Thunderbolt. And seeing how much this does to Luxray, because it's stabbed now. That looks pretty did a whole bunch of damage. And I got the uh, Parahax, which I didn't need, by the way, because I was holding the uh, Choice Scarf anyway. So I'm just going to wreck shit with this thing right now because I love Rotom and I'm glad I got this copy with Beta Mew. <laughs> look at that fucker. Just look at him. Spin, 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 spin. You will get hit. He should learn hypnotize. You just look at the fan and just get hypnotized. I love it. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to bring. Oh man, I miss using Rotom Spin. I think I have to bring it back. It's not. Okay, but anyway, um, I know for a fact that Thunderbolt's not gonna be able to take out uh, his Glaceon, and he just might have the freaking Miracle too. So I'm not gonna chance that because his team is very Gen 4ish. So I'm thinking in terms of Gen 4ish, how his team would work. So. I decided to bring out uh, Reggie Ice to counter his Glaceon, and I was going to go for the Thunder Wave, and he actually switched out into Happy Feet, which is Purple Up. So I was like, hmm, okay, well, that's about to die because I have the Thunderbolt, so I don't know why you brought that in, even though if you got the EV Light, it's still 2 hit KO, so just watch this. I go for the Thunderbolt, he gets paralyzed. I think he gets paralyzed. I'm pretty sure he gets paralyzed. Nope, he actually goes for the Stealth Rock, and I was like, Stealth Rock? Good play, because I don't have a spinner. I actually don't have a spinner on this team, and I need to get a spinner. Um, but he goes for the Stealth Rock, and I go for another Thunderbolt. He actually gets paralyzed this time, I think. Yep, he gets paralyzed now, and that's basically a dead Primp Club. He, he doesn't want to risk anything else getting hit by Thunderbolt, so he just decides to kill it off. It did its job. It set up rocks, and I didn't think Primp Club could learn Stealth Rock. Well, a lot of stuff can learn Stealth Rock. Okay. He does evolve into a Steel type, so hey, whatever. So he decides to bring in Monferno again. Uh, Inferno. In Inferno. Minferno. Minferno. I don't know. Anyway, he goes for the close combat. I kind of predicted that, and I was like, let me see if that. Can I live that? No, nah, I didn't think so. But that means he gets the uh, special defense drop. And that also probably means he's also banned. He probably is banded. I'm pretty sure he is because of that switch he did earlier. I think he's banded. So I go for the beta mute. Just to um, see what moves he has. Because right now I know he's got U-turn, close combat, and then he reveals to me, I believe it was Super Power, not Super Power, I believe it was uh, Fire Punch, it might have been Flare Blitz, I can't remember, and uh, something else, I can't remember, it's been a long time. Uh, but he goes into Fancy, and I kind of predict him to go into something else, so I actually went for the Rock Slide because Rock Slide is neutral to uh, Monferno, and it might flinch him. So, seeing how much that did, I was like, oh man, I can get it, I can get it, I can get it. It's not Stone Edge, so I get the Rock Slide again. Luckily, this is why I prefer Rock Slide over Stone Edge. Stone Edge is like, Focus Miss, Stone Miss. That's what I want to call Edge Miss, Edge Miss, whatever you call it. Rock Slide rarely misses, in my opinion. It almost always hits its mark. As you can see here, it's just more reliable. Sure, Stone, Stone Edge is more powerful, but it's got a, more of a chance to miss. Rock Slide has, I believe, 85 or 90. I can't remember. I have to double check. But it's got more. Um, it's got more. So right here, because I remember, you know, it's it's neutral, and I was hoping it would take it out. It doesn't. So it, it might. I don't, it, it might have been if you like. I can't tell for a fact. So I'm going to bring in my one of my last Pokemon, which is um, my uh, Cat Williams. Every damn hustling. And because of the fucking rocks, if I had took out Empoleon earlier, I could have been able to switch out um, uh, Cat Williams again. Because 
flying in ice and with rocks. It's there's no. I'm literally trapped. I cannot switch out. So killing that thing off is no problem. And then I gotta deal with this guy. And I'm like, oh man, I don't have any fighting moves. I'm also. Oh, I actually do have fighting moves, but I'm banded. I'm forced to use Ice Shard. I have no choice. And of course, that's not gonna kill it. Even with the power that it has, it's still. Ice versus ice is neutral, and in this case, I'm ice flying, so it's actually going to do deep neutral damage to me, and he gets uh, not very effective, so that kills it. And finally, I bring in my seal fish. This actually is a modest variant seal fish. I actually should go with the more defensive one after watching this battle because he goes through the ice beam and it basically one shots it. And I was like, "Come on, you can live, you can live, I can do this." And then he didn't live. I was like, "Oh man, that was my chance." That was my chance, and it wasn't even a crit. That's something that made me upset. I was like, okay. Well, it was a good game. You saw how close it was. That was his last Pokemon, basically. So it was a it was a really good game. So thanks, Normal Champ, for the match. Really good game, dude. Really good game. I'm gonna uh, link in the link in the description for his uh, channel. Check him out. He's got a lot of pretty cool battles in there. And that is it for Inu. We got one more tier left for tier week. That's going to be Monotype. Well, actually, the mono tier, whatever you want to call it. You know, mono gen, mono region, mono type, mono color, and all that. We're just doing mono type in this case. I believe it's mono type. But yeah, stick around for that. Sorry, guys, I've been so late. You know, got the new job and everything. But I want to make sure everything is perfect so that when I do finally get a break, like um, I've had this morning, because I can actually set up my own schedule with the job. It's pretty cool. But. I'm I'm a full time worker, so I like to work every day, so and make as much money as I can. But that's it for now, guys. B2J135. I am signing out. I will see you guys later. Deuces.